What's going on guys? Dave here working on the Suzuki Hayabusa gas tank where if you recall the previous videos the gas cap itself the little spring uh, prong you know or the latch that's attached to the key mechanism is completely seized. It won't budge at all. I mean the key will only turn just a little bit. I sprayed all kinds of stuff and even removed the rust from the inside of the gas tank. That part is great. Um, but nothing I did would get the latch to free up enough so that I could just turn the key all the way to remove the cap. So ridiculous. All right, uh, but it can be done as far as getting that cap off of there because you're probably going to have to replace it anyway. And the good thing is if you just go on eBay and search your year make and model for most, you know, most sport bike models since the early 2000s, you can get an entire set, uh, including two keys, the helmet lock, a gas cap with lock, even the ignition lock, all in one complete set. It's fantastic. Uh, and a lot of you probably have lost one key anyway, and you were always wishing you had two keys. That's how you can get back to where you started, as far as having both keys and all fresh locks and everything. All right, but here's what we do to get the cap off of here. I even tried drilling all kinds of, you know, I tried all kinds of stupid stuff to get it off of there, you know, even drilled inside it to get the lock out. It didn't matter. So here's what you do. This ring that's usually, you know, attached to the hinge part right there. It helps if you can get this ring out first. So remove all the screws and fasteners. Uh, and then there'll be a couple of pins, little bitty pins right here and here on the hinge that are right inside here. So you may have to use, you know, a little pick or something to get that, get these little pins out of the hinge part. Then, uh, you know, it's usually, you want to get the, like if this will be facing forward on the bike right here. So this will be right side, left side, left, right of the bike. All right, so we want to turn the cap so that the hinge is actually on the right side of the tank. Okay, uh, and be careful when you're doing all this too. You know, you may want to put you some painter's tape or, or electrical tape or something around this rim so you don't scratch it up and you know damage it. Just be careful. Uh, if you know, especially if you're doing any prying or anything, you know, you may want to get you some cardboard or something like this, and you know, brace brace whatever tool you're using. I just use a really big screwdriver to do this next part, but make sure that you're protecting the rim of the tank while you're about to do this. All right, so now that the gas cap hinge is on the right side of the tank you know it's right here on the directly at 90 degrees from where it started get you a little bit of cardboard and you like put it like right here and then you take your, your big hefty flathead screwdriver and just start working up the cap you know you just have to get it in down in here start working it upward it'll start prying up but you'll see what I mean, you know, make sure you got some protection right in there so you don't ding it up. Just keep working it and it'll eventually pop the cap off. And you just kind of keep working it on both sides and you can come on this side with it, come on that side with it, and it will eventually come out of there. Okay, and the reason it, it works, if you look inside of the hole, see there's like a dip right, right here. See that dip right there? That gives you some room to get the stupid lock portion out of there. So I don't know if they, if you know, if the manufacturer planned on this possibly happening. I have no idea. But for goodness sakes, it came right out. Uh, it's garbage. Whatever. The see the spring latch is that side right there. It only has one on one side. And you can see there's corrosion on it right there. This tank sat for 15 years with about a quarter tank of fuel in it. Uh, it was awful. I mean, the inside was hideous, which I have you know, I've cleaned. I'll do one more little final rinse on all that. But the other side, you know, where the fuel pump is, oh my goodness, it looks fantastic now. Where it was a hideous mess before. Like if we flip the tank over here and look down in here, what you see there is fantastic now turn some flash on that was all crusty rust i mean all the way through was horrible totally horrible so that may be one thing you need to investigate as well you know if your tank has been sitting for a long time 
Uh, and if you've only had, you know, like a portion of fuel in the tank, you might need to do a really thorough rust removal for your gas tank. And look at our previous videos on our procedure for doing that, because it definitely works. But as far as removing that gas cap, even our rust removal technique <laughs> did not free up that. Even though you can see there was rust along in here, and it removed all that, but... What we really needed to remove the, that right there, it just didn't it didn't do well enough. So whatever. I'm sure every every project will be different for you guys. I even drilled the key the key slot out of there. It didn't matter. <laughs> whatever. What? Anyway, so we are definitely pleased that uh, we're able to get it out of there because uh, after doing all kinds of work to remove the rust from inside the tank and all that, I thought. The tank was going to be garbage you know how disappointing would that have been after doing a really good job of removing the rust from inside uh anyway so check out our previous videos on this project i'll put a, a playlist link as well as you'll see a thumbnail link at the end of this video as far as the full project of doing rust removal and uh, tank restoration and uh, our procedure works pretty darn well like i'm happy to say so check all that out. And we've got tons of other videos, too, on how to work on dirt bikes, street bikes, Harley-Davidson's, you know, cars, classic cars, old trucks, motocross bikes, lawnmowers, chainsaws, all kinds of cool stuff, you know, stuff around the house. Uh, so just have a look through our channel, and you'll find all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, that's it. A successful project, we're happy to say. And when we have a success, we... Ring the bell because it's a good deal. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good day. Biker Dave signing off. Make sure you Google Horsepower House. We're all over the internet, including eBay, Amazon, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. See y'all.